The Equestrian Festival has rolled around yet again, bringing us a plethora of amazing offerings. From limited time horses and dressage, to new area hubs, races, quests, and much more. During the Equestrian Festival, there are pets, clothes, tuck, and other items that you can obtain without spending any of your precious star coins or your big shillings. Instead, you can use a special event currency called Spring Tokens, and today I'll show you the fastest way to get them. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and now let's get into it! <laughs> Spring tokens are the event currency of the Equestrian Festival, earned through quests, dailies, and some other activities. With spring tokens, you can claim a bunch of items and styles. My favorite thing you can get with them are definitely pets, and they're not even that expensive. So let's dive into all the ways you can acquire these tokens. <laughs> First, quickest and easiest way to get spring tokens is to just check your closet for them. They have been around for quite a few years now, so you'll surely have some saved up from previous equestrian festivals. Since Star Civil has become so fond of reading codes lately, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if we got some spring token codes. If I had to guess, we'll get anywhere from 2 to 4 tokens for a code, since that's the way they did it with winter tokens a few months ago. So make sure to stay on the lookout on Star Civil social media or just keep an eye on my channel for any new codes. One of the best ways to get some spring tokens while simultaneously training your horse and earning some Jorvik shillings is by completing races. The Equestrian Festival has two main hubs, one is in Moorland and the other one is in Jorvik Stables. At both locations, you'll have the option to complete some races. There are also some dailies that you can do each day for some extra spring tokens. For example, there's a daily quest called Dress Code. Loretta and Ginny, located at Moreland Festival Grounds, ensure you and your horse are dressed to impress. Each day, they present you with different themes for dressing up, and you usually just have to pick the color or the pattern required for that day. <laughs> Now, a permanent feature dressage was first introduced to Jorvik during the Equestrian Festival. In Jorvik Stables Dressage, you're not judged by how fast you can clear the competition, it's all about precision and memorization. Follow the right pattern in the correct gait to perfect your skill. I probably should have put this next to all of the races, but I feel like dressage is still a bit different. Currently, we have dressage practice and dressage mastery, but Star Civil did say that for the last week of the festival, we're going to get another dressage race, so we'll get another way of obtaining spring tokens. But if you complete both, you will be rewarded with... So it's definitely worth doing it. I think they made dressage a lot easier this year, but if you have any trouble, make, make sure to check the guide video that I made about it a year ago. And I think I might make it again this year if it's going to be needed. Another really easy way to get spring tokens is by completing equestrian festival quests. These are obviously limited, so it's not like the other activities you can do daily, but they still provide a large portion of the tokens you'll need to obtain new items. Everything is wrong, right among us. Desperate voices whisper, help us. Trees and birds and flowers hurt, and we must run to the rescue.
through a land, a land they're calling doubt. A long, long time ago, this land was colorful, filled with love and joy, where no one felt alone. Side by side they go, off to their desires, although they were still down, down in the hot fire. I've always felt so young, I've always felt so old I live beside a land, a land that is full of doubt I fear it is too late, still aiming for my fate Side by side we go, off to our desires And we keep on walking, walking through the fire Each week we'll get more ways of getting these tokens, so keep an eye out on the updates and try to do as many daily activities as possible. If you don't have much time, make sure to prioritize the ones that will reward you with the highest amount of spring tokens for the least amount of time.
Anyway, I hope this video helped you and I hope you have the best time during the festival. This is gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!